Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different right now. Uh, I am going to do a candle and wax melt empties video at the end of the month, uh, but there's a lot of um, uh, melts and candles that I've been working my way through and they won't be in my empties, but um, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a review on the ones that I've been trying that probably won't show up in my empties. But if you do like this kind of video, um, let me know. And I had them all um, kind of laid out on my chair in the bedroom here. <laughs> uh, because, I don't know, out of sight, out of mind. So these are the ones I kind of wanted to try and I knew I, I wouldn't finish them, but I just wanted to try them. So I do like to um, burn my scents or melt my scents uh, according to what I'm reading or uh, a movie I'm watching or a show I'm watching. So I was doing a lot of patchouli, like the Yankees patchouli when I was watching like the paranormal shows or supernatural shows or what have you or fantasy movies. And then I kind of ran out of the Yankee patchouli, which is was a really good candle. So I do have some patchouli scents that I have been trying and I have been enjoying. So there is the uh, Goose Creek patchouli. Now I do prefer the Yankee patchouli, but this one still is pretty good though. It is, um, it, like on cold, it's really potent, but it kind of softens up a little bit. But it is actually, it's a good patchouli though. I really do enjoy that. And then another patchouli scent that I have is Autumn Gatherings. Now I think this was, uh, was it, just this past fall or the fall before they had this one out. It is the Ashland's Candles in Michael's and it's patchouli and oak. So this one has a little bit more of a kind of a, uh, a soft warm wood about it. So it's not quite as potent or herbal as that the other patchouli's. But yeah, this one is actually pretty good. Um, not quite as long lasting as the Goose Creek one. Uh, but still a pretty good one. And then this is Ambiescence, uh, which is um, the sister company to uh, Sensationals. And this is their Patchouli Vanilla. And now I was, I was surprised. This one, I only needed one cube to fill up the bedroom. And um, it was, it's quite long lasting. Yeah, it, uh, they all kind of had that same kind of vibe to them. I think this one's a, a maybe a little bit brighter um, than some of these others. Uh, I think like the Goose Creek is a, a very deep, heavy kind of patchouli while this one's a little bit brighter. So I do have some patchouli scents that I'm using up for uh, those spooky shows. And um, this is the Ashland's uh, Toasted Almond. So I want to use this one up. I love almond scents and this one's actually pretty good. It's, it's um, stronger than a medium throw, uh, but yeah, I just, I love almond scents. Oh, they're so good in, in candle form or body care form. I just love almond scents. So I wish Ashlands would bring that one back. Uh, right now in the spare bedroom, I have uh, Better Homes Warm Rustic Woods. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite wax melts of all time. I do have this small package and then I have two value packs and I'm just uh, I'm just hoarding them like crazy. I just, I don't want to go through them. So I'm kind of rationing them. Uh, but that's Warm Rustic Woods. Now I had it in my Scentsy Warmer in the spare bedroom and Oh my gosh, it's going and going like the Energizer Bunny. This just one cube is just does not want to stop. Um, but yeah, it is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, it's it's a woodsy amber, but the amber even I know Ramona doesn't like amber, but I think she liked this one though. Um, it's a very uh, soft, warm, uh, cozy kind of. Um, woody amber scent it is so good and it's so long lasting i just let me know in the states if you still have this and i'm i'll run down in the fall and get some more uh now um our walmart here in canada had some new sensationals come out and one was silent night and just one cube filled up my bedroom and i just this one had a kind of a bright perfumey scent to it on cold, but it kind of softened up. 
But I don't think this one was... I mean, it was a little stronger than a medium throw. It filled up the bedroom, but it wasn't overpowering. But it was a little bit on the kind of the perfumey kind of side. Yeah, but I liked it. And yeah, it, it's quite strong, actually. And the other one was uh, Joy. And again, one cube in the other spare bedroom. This is also perfumey, but they're, they're totally different scents, so... This is much, much softer. This one has a, a little bit of a, a brightness to it, while this one is just very soft, very um, spa, almost spa-like. It's just so relaxing. Just very soft, perfumey, floral, but oh, just so relaxing and, and very pretty. I mean, I'd burn this any time of the year, actually. Iced, uh, iced Lake. I have that in my... Um, tea light warmer right now. Uh, just one cube is all it needs. This sucker is potent. It's very strong. It is a um, minty scent. It's more spearmint than peppermint, but there's a natural, a very natural mint in there also. Oh, but it is so bright and delicious. Oh, it's so good. And yeah, one cube is all you need and it's just filling up my bedroom. Uh, I'm going to try to finish up uh, the Vanilla Woods. It's a classic sensational scent. Um, this one is still actually strong. I've had this for I don't know how many years, and it's it's still very good. Oh, I, I just love this one. It is, if you love wood scents, this is just very soft. It's got a little bit of sweetness. Very, very good classic one. I wish they'd bring some of those classic ones back. And then... Um, actually, I'll probably finish this up this month. I don't know. Uh, Cozy Fireside by Sen uh, Sensi. This one is so good. I know um, the description doesn't say there's clove in it, but I, for some reason my nose picks up clove. But yeah, there is a cinnamon, but I don't know. My nose picks up clove. And yeah, it's just such a deep, rich kind of spice and there's a little bit of woods in there too. Um, yeah, I do have uh, one or two backups of this. I really, really like it for the winter. And um, I did try the Frosted White Birch. Now this one does change from cold to when it's warmed up. It is, um, it's kind of veering towards the colony side. Oh, it's, it's good. Uh, there is a there's a mintiness to it. Um, like I said, a little bit of cologne. Uh, this one didn't last as long as some of the other scentsies. I find it kind of tapered off uh, somewhat quickly. But it did fill up my bedroom, but it wasn't overpowering. It was actually a, it's a nice winter scent. Uh, I did try one cube, uh, the Sensationals Mulled Berry Cider. This was another one that we found in Canada. And, um, yeah, the prices are going up like $4.59 now. It's getting ridiculous. It's like I'm just, I probably won't even buy any more at that price. It's be cheaper to fill up my car and drive down to the States, which is just an hour away, and, you know, stock up on these, uh, you know, with the, the gas and everything. It'd be cheaper because it's getting ridiculous. But anyway, I digress. Mulled berry cider. Oh my gosh, I got three of these and I'm glad I did because this is so, it's such a rich, decadent berry scent. Oh, it is so good. Oh, oh it's, it, it's really good. Um, if, if you can find this, it's a good one. And uh, what else have I tried? I did try one cube of the whiteout. This was a while back now. Yeah, it's definitely a peppermint scent. Um, there's a hint of evergreen in there also. Kind of reminds me of Snow Day by Bath & Body Works. But I swear, I just cannot remember how strong it was because it's been a bit and I have no memory. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I don't remember being disappointed. Uh, winter Berry Apple Tea. So I put this in the spare room and it filled up the spare room. I just... I don't think it lasted quite as long as some other ones. Um, I just wish I got a little more tea in this. It's, I love deep, rich berry scents in the winter. I just, I wish there was a little more tea that came out with this one. Um, 
And then spiced berries by Scentsy. Oh, a couple of cubes of that. Again, just a rich, decadent, yummy berry scent. Just oh, perfect for the winter time. And then uh, I was burning this DW Candle Vetiver Oud last night. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful label. Um, it was burning well. I have to, these these little um, wicks need anger management course because they're very aggressive. Um, I do have to trim these quite a bit, um, but it's a very, very good burn. And sorry, it's not DW. Well, okay, it's a sister company of DW96. And yeah, I usually have very good luck with the burns on these. This one, uh, I have to burn it again and update you because um, I had other things burning in the bedroom and I think it was just competing and um, it, it's, uh, it definitely is a wood scent. Very soft, but I just, uh, I had to burn it alone without any competition to let you know. And this is Glade Elegant Amber and Oud. And I've gone through one cube of that. This one was actually uh, much stronger than I thought it was going to be. It filled up my bedroom, um, but, you know, wasn't cloying or overpowering. Uh, the amber was um, more like that woodsy soft amber. But you definitely could get the, the that woodsy scent. Um, and ooze found in some uh, like men's clone and that sort of thing, but I didn't find it that clone. I just found it like a woody amber kind of scent. But yeah, um, it lasts longer than uh, the other glades that I remember. So it did. It did pretty good actually. Oh, Grandpa's workshops, sensationals. I got a few of these backups. This is just absolutely delicious. It is crushed cardamom and tobacco and cedar. Holy moly. This is, oh, it's still going strong. I absolutely, this is again, one of my favorite sensationals of all time. And I'm so glad I got backups. And um, I did try one cube of the pink hot cocoa by sensationals, but I can't remember now. Oh, it's good though. It's, it's good. Oh, yeah. You can smell the hot chocolate. Um, well, you can smell a bit of the cocoa, but it's more of that. Um, you can smell more of that kind of candy, sweet candy kind of smell. Like that sweet, what was it called? The sweet pulled taffy that Sensationals had. It's similar to that. So you get more of that than the cocoa. It'd be nice to have a little more cocoa in there, but. You know, anyway. Um, so yeah, just one cube of that. Um, what else have I been burning? Oh, uh, Yankee Candles Fig and Clove. Uh, so I just burned this uh, once or twice. Maybe just, no, I think it was just once. Um, for some reason I had to blow it out before that little corner um, pooled out, but it's no big deal. Uh, they do pool out. Uh, the further they go down, the quicker they pool out too. So this one I get more just that kind of sweet fig fruit scent than I wish it had more clove in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really too worried about the burn because they usually crack themselves just fine. Um, yeah, this one was about a medium throw, but again, I might have to try it again there. It's just, you know, one or two uh, burns so far. Um, I just set this out, Istanbul uh, Sparkly Amber, so I'm going to work on that one. And, uh, oh, that's just Yankee Candles, Lavender, and Oak. I'm going to throw in the scent cup sometime. Um, probably one of my favorite laundry scents of all time is Country Home Candle, which is a Canadian company. Flannel sheets. You can still order online, but the shipping's really pricey, so... Uh, um, Oh my gosh, it is the best. I mean, it does smell like flannel sheets that just came out of the dryer. It's just, but it, there's, it's much softer and deeper and oh, it's just, it's the best. It's the best. And then Fall in Love with Tuscany by Sensationals. I've gone through a few bars of these previously. Uh, just a very unique original scent. 
just one of those scents. It's just, it's so hard to explain. There's woods, there's greenery, there's a hint of cologne. It's just very hard to explain. Um, used to be able to find that in the Canadian Walmarts there. So, anyway, um, so that's kind of what I've been trying out uh, this past month, but I don't think I'm going to finish them up by the, because I mean, February's, what, a short month, so a couple days is going to be over. Um, but yeah, there's some Yankees I'm going to try to, like the Yankee tarts I'm trying to use up and um, that sort of thing. So anyway, if you like this type of video, um, just let me know. Um, oh, right now, oh, okay, I'm getting too old to squat down here. Oh. Uh, my legs have gone to sleep. Right now, I'm, I'm reading the miniaturist um, place, takes place in Amsterdam in the 1600s. Um, really interesting novel. Very, very hard to put down. And then um, I bought this book, and I can't remember where, um, Once Upon a River, and it takes place in, I think, 18th century England, um, which I love history. So, um, on a dark mid winter's night in an ancient inn on the Thames. The regulars are entertaining themselves by telling stories when the door burst open and in steps an injured stranger. In his arms is the drowned corpse of a child. Hours later, the dead girl stirs, takes a breath, and returns to life. Is it a miracle? Is it magic? And who does the little girl belong to? Um, so, yeah, I just love history novels and um, that sort of thing. So, and then I went downtown, and there's a book store uh, called Attic Books, I think it is. And down in the basement, they have all the um, the bargain books. So they had all their bargain books on for half price. So I got these two uh, hardback cover um, novels for two dollars, and they're Manette, Manette Walters, who um, does like murder mysteries in England. And uh, yeah, I really do like her books. So for a couple of bucks each. Um, so yeah, lots of good reading. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And yes, I will have my um, empties video up in a few days. Uh, I think I'll take the weekend off. I mean, working quite a bit at the hospital and trying to, and I'm, I'm all done the year end stuff. So I'm just like, yay. Um, but anyway, if you, if you do want to Maybe, you know, uh, once or twice a month, just kind of uh, see what I've been burning, but not going to finish up at the end of the month. Let me know, and everyone take care, and uh, give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.